if you have a little um sibling or an oldest uh Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you're new, make sure before we start, you subscribe at the bottom right corner. It's a little pink subscribe button. You subscribe there, give this video a thumbs up, and as you can tell by the title, this is an only child pros and cons video. Make sure you comment down below if you are an only child as well, so I can see if I can relate to other people, and sometimes I feel like I'm the only one, so if you comment down below, I'll be sure to know that I am not the only only child there is. Also, sorry if you hear some noise. My mom is blowing out here over there in the living room. And I really have nowhere else to film because we are remodeling my parents' room. And there's just a bunch of stuff around me in my room that I really have nowhere else to film. But, you know, I'm really thankful for my ring light because the lighting is bomb. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and again, make sure you subscribe at the bottom right before we start. Give this video a thumbs up. I kind of want to eat my Snickers bar right now, so I'm going to eat it. Okay, before we start, let me do the thumbnail, so. Six and a half hours later. Make sure to watch all the way through the end because I have some bloopers that happened while filming this video. Um, some of them are funny, so um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with the cons first because I think that's more, I don't know, fun. Um, it's No, it's not fun. Um, <laughs> um, it's just, I'll end it with like the happy note, the pros. Um, before I start also, I am no way trying to brag in the pro section. It's just um, it's just how my life has been. I'm pretty sure if you're an only child, you can kind of relate to me. Um, but I'm not trying to brag. These are just pros and cons of my personal, like what I've lived through being an only child. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm going to start with the 10 cons. So con number one. <clears throat> Con number one, you grow up alone. Obviously, I'm an only child, so it's just me, my mom, and my dad. So I basically just grow up alone. Um, it's kind of sad, it's kind of lonely at times, but um, at the same time, you kind of have your own personal space, so it's like 50-50. Um, but yeah, that's con number one. By the way, I have this thing down here, so I'm gonna keep looking down just to like look at it. Con number two, when you're growing up, you have no one to play with in the park. So you're at the park, you're playing, and you see other, you know, little kids playing with their siblings, but you're just kind of there playing alone. And um, I've always had trouble, like, making friends. So if I was at the park, I'd be by myself. So that's just the way it was. But um, I still had fun. Con number four, it's kind of a sad one, but, you know, it's true. If it does happen, it is true. Um, con number four, if, God forbid, something were to happen to my parents, I would end up alone because, um... Let's say something happened, God forbid, a car accident. They both passed away. I would be alone. I am 21 now, so I'm an adult. But imagine if I was like 13 and something happened to my parents. I would probably live with my grandmother, something like that. But, you know, if I had a sibling, maybe an older sibling, a younger sibling, when we would grow up, maybe we could live together um, and go to school and work. But being alone is kind of sad. Like, imagine just losing your parents as a teenager with no siblings. And then you'd, like, really be alone for, like, the rest of your life. So that's con number four. Um, I think about that. Um, and I'm very glad that I'm 21 now. But I still would never want to lose my parents. Because they're, like, the only thing I got. Con number five. We have no one to tell your secrets to. So, you know, siblings, like... They always have, well, it's what I've observed, obviously, but they always have, like, secrets between them. Like, oh, don't tell mom and dad, or, you know, this happened to me, but, you know, don't tell mom because she's gonna beat me up. Um, so, siblings kind of have, like, especially if you're, like, one or two years, like, in between, if you're, like, almost the same age, they have, like, secrets between them, and I would love that, but I don't have it, so can't do anything about it con number six would be all the chores are on you so obviously if you have 
siblings whether they're younger or they're older they could help you out you know like you can do the dishes the other one does laundry or you can mop the floor the other one like cleans around the house so obviously it's just me so if my parents are working and I'm home I am obviously supposed to clean the dishes you know maybe clean the floor clean my room um so yeah I have no one to help me with the chores so that that's one of the cons that I hate the most it's so annoying con number seven we have no one to blame so I have no one to play like if I did something wrong I could obviously blame it on a sibling if I had one but I don't so I have no one to blame if anything goes wrong there's just not much to explain there but yeah if I do something wrong it just falls on me because who else am I gonna blame number eight would be you have no sibling to become your best friend so um i can tell like some of my friends have really close siblings and they become like best friends they can tell each other secrets and no one else has to know about them it's just something between them and their sibling and yeah i never had that but um this is gonna sound weird but i talk to myself so much like sometimes i'm in my room and i'm just thinking about like when I'm stressed, I just talk to myself and I kind of feel better. I hope that's normal because then I just sound so crazy. Number nine, you grow up as a small family. Most families have two or three kids, so their family is a total of five or six people. Mine is just three. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, I always wished I had at least one more sibling to have like a companion. But um, yeah. Finally, con number 10, we have um, growing up, you know, you always go to like these family birthday parties and they're kind of awkward if you have no one to hang out with, my situation, <laughs> but um, if you have a sibling, you can go to these awkward parties and just hang out with your sibling and play on the phone or whatever you have to play with, but if you're just alone, it's just like you, your mom, and your dad, and you're just sitting there, and my mom was always like, oh, go play with the kids, and I'm like, no mom like I don't want to go play with them like I don't know these people like I'd rather just stay here with my mom and yeah that was so awkward growing up so I always wished I had like a sister to hang out with during these awkward family parties but I obviously didn't so that's con number 10 and those are my 10 cons let's go with the pros So now we're going to do the 10 pros of being an only child. Pro number one, you get so much love just to you, especially from your parents because they only have one child. So they give you so much love. They protect you so much. And um, yeah, it feels really good. Pro number two, it's probably my favorite thing about being an only child um, growing up. And it still kind of is. Um, you get more gifts on your birthday and holidays um, just because, well, more gifts from your parents because they only have one child to spend on, obviously. So I remember when I was like, like 13, 12, 13, I would get so many gifts for Christmas. Um, yeah, I would get so many gifts for Christmas and my birthday from my parents and that was amazing okay pro number three would be you get to go on a lot more vacations obviously it's just you your mom and your dad so it's a family of three you get to go on more vacations and maybe not even more vacations but the vacations could be a little bit longer because you're paying cheaper you know less amount of people one of my favorite pros pro number four you don't have to share your stuff so the main favorite part i don't have to share my room the room is just for me this is part of my where i keep my stuff i have like school supplies my camera supplies my pajamas in here um and i'm glad i don't have to share it with anyone it's just me and i can just put whatever i want wherever i want i don't have to be like oh that's my space no that's my space like it's just all mine um so that's pro number four um pro number five there's no favorite child Sorry, it got a little noisy so i closed the door um pro number five there's no favorite child so obviously it's just me um like you know sometimes parents have their favorite child i can just tell with other people but um with me it's just me so i'm always going to be their first favorite second favorite third first and last favorite <laughs> Um, and yeah, I have a dog, so I think the dog is their favorite now, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's no favorite sibling. It's just me.
Pro number six is also one of my favorites apart from having my own room. Pro number six is you get to have the front passenger seat to yourself the whole time, like your whole entire life. That passenger seat will always be yours. Um, since I spend most of my time with my mom, I always, she's always driving and I'm always in the passenger seat. No one's fighting with me to sit in their favorite spot of the car. You know what I mean? Um, and I've seen that happen so much with my cousins and it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I thankfully didn't have to go through that. Pro number seven, I get all the attention to myself. So, um... If, you know, something good happens to me, I get to brag to my parents, like, oh, this happened to me, and no one's, like, I don't have a sibling to fight over me. Like, oh, like, I was better. Oh, no, you're better. Like, you know, stuff like that. Hopefully, you guys can understand. Oh, no. Number eight, I think, is one of the most important pros. You become independent at a young age only because you're always surrounded with, like, being an only child, you're always surrounded with adults. Um, starting with your parents those are your two like guidelines also you have like just everyone around you becomes is an adult so you absorb all the good advice that they surround you with and that's how you become more independent you also learn um, to not rely on people to do things for you because since you're always alone you just learn how to do things on your own and get them done pro number nine is kind of easy you don't have to fight over the bathroom with somebody else so usually my mom and my dad they go in they take a shower they're quick i take forever to take a shower and do my makeup and everything um but i don't have a sibling to rush me because they have to use the bathroom or whatever it's just me so usually my parents get ready first and then i get ready and i take like forever to get ready pro number 10 is um I think my third favorite pro what was my first one? Oh, my first pro my first favorite pro was having not to share my room with other people my second one was that I would get a lot of gifts growing up that was amazing pro number 10 my third favorite pro um, my last pro on my list and in this video is that you is that you get to have a lot more clothes and a lot more shoes only because your parents only have one child so growing up every time like school came the new school year you would just get like I would get a lot of clothes a lot of shoes not like a lot but like instead of having one pair of shoes per year I would have maybe two I would get like two and I would get like a lot of clothes I would get like a new winter coat you know a lot of pants shirts everything uh, hoodies which are my favorite hoodies um but it's okay I mean I'm not complaining I've had a great life I grew up with so much love and care and my parents were just the best parents ever and they still are and um yeah I can't complain um when I graduated high school I got a dog um she's so cute let's see if she wants to come say hi wait let me bring her here she is that's my dog She clearly doesn't want to be here, but oh, a thumbnail. I love you like so there you go. Those are my 10 pros and cons of being an only child. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. You subscribe to the bottom right, that pink subscribe button. Um, and comment down below if you are an only child and could relate because... I feel like no one can relate to me because everyone I know has a sibling except for me but yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video okay so um, I'm gonna start with the cons first because I think that's more I don't know fun um it's no it's not fun um <laughs> Um, you have no one to play with as a child, so you know, growing up, if, you know, I've seen other people, if you have a little, um, sibling, or an old, uh, pro number 10, the last pro, 